Section 5. Reporting from Apex While Apex does not provide a rich reporting environment out of the box, it does provide some features that allow the user to have an interactive experience with their data. This section will have a look at getting clever with CSV reports, then explore what interactive reports can do, and finally we'll finish up with looking at BR Publisher reporting. First of all, we're going to have a look at generating a URL link to a CSV export. Apex provides a declarative way to include an option to download a report to CSV. We can demonstrate that using the products report. Edit the report attributes and scroll down to the report export. We set that to yes and apply a label. When we run this page, we can see a link at the bottom of the screen that enables us to export the output to CSV. This link looks just like this, where we've got our usual application and page number, session ID. And it has a special request here, which is asking it to export to a CSV output for a particular region ID. And we can generate this URL and generate this report ourselves. So we'll edit the application and go to page one and create a new classic report region. So it's going to be a report, classic report. We're going to make it hidden, so I'll call it hidden and paste in a simple select from my products. And when you get to the conditional display, set it to never, as it will never appear on the page, but we'll still be able to utilize it. To be able to utilize it, we need to edit it once we've created it and apply a static ID in the attribute section. This is so we can refer to this particular record in the metadata in just a moment. So apply those changes and then create a new hidden item. Now this item is going to generate the URL required to export the CSV. Export URL. And once we've created the item, create a computation on that item. There's going to be a SQL query that returns a single value. And the query generates the URL with our special export command and our region ID, which has been taken from the relevant dictionary table by finding it using the static ID. And once the computation is there, we can now add a button that utilizes that computation to export the report. Call our button export. Instead of submitting the page, it'll redirect to a URL, which is this syntax here of our item, surrounded by the substitution string syntax. So now that when we run our page and click the button, export, there's our hidden region exporting the CSV to file. And there's our export. So now that when we use this button, it's calling the hidden region, so we can use this concept of generating reports from hidden regions to define a number of reports within a page, and you could even parameterize those. Next up, we'll look at creating an interactive report.